The experimental project called ESOS is lightweight and runs on solar power. Damir Bajanovic and his team of scientists at UNESCO's Institute for Water Education in the Netherlands say it is designed to bring disaster relief into the 21st century. The ESOS, which stands for Emergency Sanitation Operation System, is a holistic approach to emergency sanitation. It involves several components. It involves ESOS a smart toilet, smart transport and dislodging of each toilet unit, and the centralized treatment of feces and, uh, and urine, uh, and the safe disposal of uh, materials like uh, dry sludge, which is a pathogen-free, and the clean water, which can be reused further in, in the system. The lightweight system is easily transported to disaster zones, but what makes it unique is that it's designed to deal with the entire emergency sanitation chain and minimize the threat to public health. The ESOS system contains smart features, such as an energy supply unit, a GPS sensor, and a monitor that keeps track of waste accumulation. All of this data from the toilet system can be transferred to an emergency coordination center so that officials can better determine the needs of an affected area. It also can recycle urine into irrigation water with the help of membrane bioreactors. We can treat uh, all liquid waste coming from sludge treatment and from urine into membrane bioreactors. It's a uh, novel technology which uh, will treat a liquid part to the level that you can even at the end with some disinfection have a reuse of water for either toilet use or for irrigation or horticulture or any other purpose that you can imagine in a refugee camp. The toilet is still in the testing phase and will be deployed at a camp for disaster victims in the Philippines later this year. Its developers hope this smart disaster relief will save lives and the dignity of refugees. Zlatica Ho, VOA News, Washington.